Hey guys, Landon is back with another video. So today we're gonna be doing a range test on the feisty little InMotion V8F. So enough chit chatting here, we can talk on the ride, let's go. What a nice morning. So let's get some specs out of the way first. I'm about 180 pounds with gear on. The tire is filled to 37 PSI, charged to 100%, and it is about 10 Celsius outside. I'm gonna be recording this track with the Relive app so we can watch it later. And I'm gonna be riding at a medium pace. Not too fast, not too slow. This wheel has a 520 watt hour battery, got a thousand watt motor, and at the price of recording, it's about 1300 Canadian. They just came out with a new wheel called the V8S, and it's the identical wheel, but it's got about 40% bigger battery. So if you're not happy with the range I get on this today, that might be the one to shoot for, and it only weighs one more pound, so that's pretty cool. We are currently in Brentwood Bay, which is just outside of Victoria, BC. Here on a bit of a holiday. It's too freaking cold where I live, so I thought we'd come to the warmest island in Canada and ride around here. We just had a crazy rainstorm provincial wide. There's like most of the freeways cut off right now. I don't even know how we're gonna get home. Uh, there's like towns in British Columbia that are being helicoptered in supplies because there's no railways to get in, there's no roads to get in. Uh, people don't have internet, cell service, food. It's freaking crazy. So I'm pretty happy to be riding around here right now. And a drop. Cool. Ah, man, this is nice. Nice ride. It's just been raining so much since we've been here. Finally got a clear day. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. Otherwise, this is gonna be a long, boring video. So I'll catch you guys later on when I burn down some battery. All right, been riding for a little bit. Let's take a look at the app. So we have gone 6.2 kilometers, according to Relive, and we are at 92 percent it's showing so got a ways to go <laughs> this is a cool little walking trail we found the other day it's not very long it's pretty neat probably slippery with this uh little street tire the in motion v8f comes with and i don't even know if you can get an off-road tire for this thing so it's yeah not not very good off-road especially when it's a bit wet like this Oh man, guys, this is so nice. What a freaking nice ride. If you guys are watching this video and you don't have a personal electric vehicle yet, you really need to get one. It's just the best way to see a new place. It's just so free feeling. Gets you outside. It's just, it's totally changed my life and my whole perspective of getting around and seeing new places and it's just such incredible technology that this little thing can just take me everywhere. It's just mind boggling to me. You know, like <laughs> this thing I can pick up, like watch. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like there's, there's nothing to it. And it's getting me so far, so far. Let's see where we're at. We are Sixteen kilometers, and I'm at fifty-nine percent battery still. 
So I think we're on track to go over 30 kilometers on something that <laughs> costs, let's, let's be real, it, it's significantly less than even a half decent mountain bike. And it's gonna carry me, I'm gonna say it's gonna carry me 30 kilometers. It's just insanity. And I haven't been going super slow. You know, I've been, I've been hitting um, 30 kilometers an hour and staying there for little bits, you know. That's, uh, you know, kind of like this. That's a, that's a decent speed. You're making a lot of ground with this little wheel when you're traveling at this speed. Pretty cool stuff. I forgot to mention, this is the very V8F that I cut out and supposedly killed in the uh, comparison video I did earlier. What it was is there's a little 30 amp automotive fuse that's soldered into the control board and that's all blue, so I unsoldered it, went to Lordco, bought another one, soldered it in, good to go. So uh, yeah, it's nice to know the limit of this now. I know how kind of far I can push it. And uh, there is a limit. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, no harm done. Well, <laughs> just kicked me off, little battery beeps. See where we're at. Twenty-nine point four kilometers. It says it's got twenty-five percent battery left. Although once I started moving, it kicked me off. But let's see what the GPS says. GPS says twenty-eight point three kilometers. Been riding for basically two hours. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can ride a little bit longer. Well, I made it back up the hill <laughs> at a walking pace. So it's flat up here and I'm gonna keep doing laps. It just took a minute for it to figure itself out and that's kind of what happens on these uh, EUCs. You know, if, you're, if you're pulling current, it'll kick you off because of low battery. And if you have a little bit left, generally if you just wait a minute, you can reset it and you can ride it slowly for a little bit further to hopefully get you home. So that's what I did. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth on the flats here, cause I don't wanna walk too far. It's, it's dead, totally dead. It says it's got 20%, but it won't turn on. So take the percentage with a grain of salt. But you know what? It did really well. Um, it did, uh, yeah, GPS says 29.9 kilometers. So let's call that 30K. And the nice thing is, is that it, uh, I could ride it basically all the way until the last 500 meters. And then the last 500 meters was limp mode. So that's pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty impressed with it. The V10F did 50, I think it was. And it's got quite a bit bigger battery. So for this to do 30 kilometers on such a small battery, I think it's pretty impressive. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I'll keep trying to make more of these videos. Take care.